and it's April 16th and I want to share some ideas on my goals for technology integration and in my teacher education courses. Now I teach entirely online and so a lot of the content I create um, I come up with myself and integrate it into my courses. So these are some big ideas I want to continue to focus on not just in terms of my own modeling of teaching pedagogies, but also in terms of integrating these ideas into student assignments and tasks so that they can think about how they might integrate these into their own teaching in pre-K through 12 settings. So the first idea is blended learning or flipped classroom, which generally means, you know, using technology to create a student-centered learning pathway. It might be watching videos, it might be listening to audio, I already do quite a bit of this in my class for modeling, but I would like for my students to come up with their own multimedia for teaching purposes. These might be short audio or video clips. They might be um, a sequence of audio or video clips, depending on the age of the student. I also think that we need more teacher-created multimedia, so in general, you can you know, with open access sharing on the internet, you can find media, but it helps to create multimedia. So in my case, I create videos and podcasts. I'd like to branch out further and make tutorials. I'd also like to make um, some, some things that will help students review for their certification tests. Another idea that I have somewhat implemented but would like to explore further is paperless classrooms. So this includes cloud-based writing on Google Docs or other collaborative shared writing spaces, and this is increasingly becoming the norm. Because I teach a key class on the writing process, I'm thinking I would like to use um, some ideas from cloud-based writing and paperless classrooms as ways for people to share writing and get feedback from others digitally. I think that we can do a lot more with paperless classrooms and teacher education. We should move definitely towards digital writing and digital ways of giving feedback on that writing. There's also digital ways to annotate what we're reading. And so that brings me into my next point of digital textbooks. So students in K-12 are increasingly reading content on digital textbooks. So this is great. I think this is one of the, um, you know, really wonderful things about technology is we don't have to lug things around. We don't have to keep track of them so much. It's, uh, but it's a different process to read digitally than it is to read from print. And so I think learning how to read digitally and teaching our teachers how to teach how to read digitally is really important. Um, and then also another trend right now is teaching K-12 within a learning management system. So some districts around here in the DFW area are using things as diverse as Blackboard, some are using Canvas learning, some are using Google Classroom, um, some districts are using a combination of these and allowing for teacher choice. Some schools are um, have teachers who are teaching with Edmodo. I personally have used Edmodo as a question and answer board kind of thing as a back channel, and I want to explore it further. I think um, the Google Classroom apps are essential to know as teacher educators, and we can integrate some of these into our teaching. Just because we teach an online course doesn't mean our students know how to also teach within an online setting. They don't automatically know how to design pedagogy to take place within a learning management system. So I think sharing how to do that in K-12 settings is important. So teaching at K-12 in a learning management system is a new skill. Mobile learning, this is one of my favorite topics because I'm always on my phone personally and I know many of the Pew data supports that millennials especially are on their phones. Um, and are always close to their phones. And so mobile learning can include student-centered learning like reading, writing on, on iPads, creating multimedia on iPads, um, you know, a variety of apps. Um, this is where we need to think critically about why we're using mobile learning. But one way we can do this in teacher education is um, by creating some basic learning tools for the ba most basic knowledge about teacher ed. So I plan on using the app Quizlet to make some 
flashcards on some of the basic terminology relating to literacy learning. So this would include um, terms that are related to beginning reading and, and comprehension and vocabulary and writing and media literacy and so on. There's a ton of new terms and I really like explaining these terms and breaking them down for students. So I'm gonna create that. It's something for them to learn about in the course, but then also when they, right before their, their teacher certification test, they have some review materials. And so those can be accessed through a mobile device. I would also be modeling for students um, mobile learning. Another idea is to use Socrative to create some practice questions for students that align with our competencies. So I'm in Texas. So I could use, we have a new teacher certification test, and so I could use, um, draw on those standards and competencies to pull out key ideas that students can practice on those, and it would be mobile-based and mobile accessible. Um, there's other ideas, but I just wanna touch on one more, and that's teacher blogs. And so I think it's important that teachers reflect on practice, on ideas, that they share knowledge with other people, we need more knowledge sharing and not just the same old rehash of ideas, but genuine reflection. And so teacher educators can have blogs where they reflect on their own practice. Um, I have a blog, virtualgadfly.com. I need to blog on it more. But I think as we, as we share our practice more, we're modeling truly knowledge distribution, distributed learning. And so that's great modeling. And then students, our teacher candidates and our grad students can have a blog that they contribute to on a regular basis. Those are some of the key ideas I've been seeing and thinking about. I think blended learning is huge and paperless classrooms are huge. Those are two big ideas and the rest count too, but I think those are just significant, especially to my field, literacy learning. Thanks for watching this. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments area below. Stay tuned for more videos.